Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, this wasn't exactly the kind of video I was going to make on a Sunday morning, but um, it just popped up after another one I watched. Let's see, it was Steve DeNoon, I think. But anyway, um, it's a, the most recent one I've seen yet on what New York City is like now. Remember, I had asked, and one of you, Rose, thank you, was trying to find a more recent video on what is New York City like now. Well, this is called An Empty New York City Pandemic Tour by Joey Contino. Apparently, his wife or fiance, I don't know, he didn't say. Probably wife. They're moving there. <laughs> And she works there, and they're looking for an apartment. And there's so many empty ones, they must be looking for the best bargain. But whatever. This is from August 3rd. So, it's still real recent. Because, what is today? August the 23rd. So, this was 20 days ago. And this is 9.41 a.m. Okay. So, it is August the 23rd. And happy anniversary to Christine and... Oh, forgive me, I forgot your name. The young couple, I say young, they're 20 years married today on Hourly Watch. They're the ones who give out the wedding supper invitations that are purple and pink. You can get a pack of 200 free. They ship it for free. They take donations to pay for the printing and the shipping. And they live very close to the fires. They said it's been very smoky out. But they got enough money to buy backpacks for people. I'll put a link to their video that I watched. And if you feel led to support them, supporting the homeless, people that are now being evicted from their homes, probably going to lose their homes, they're giving out backpacks that Christine found on Amazon in, in cases of 20 or 24 per box. And then they put food items in there in one of their invitations. They have a great little ministry. It's not so little anymore. They're like 350000 large on getting these in little... Um, they're like a 5 by 7 I still have a couple of mine. I got rid of many, but I still, for some reason, I still have a few. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. It's almost sad, even though we all know what New York City represents. This is what the pandemic has done, or is it? Was that all really an excuse to get people to leave? The rich have left. And Governor Cuomo still, as of within this week, been begging him to come back. He says he'll buy him a drink. Come on, I'll cook for you. I'll throw you a barbecue. <laughs> yeah, I liked what one of you said. Uh, I said that in another video. Yeah, it'll be a barbecue all right when that nuke goes off. I have a feeling they know what's coming. Do you? Well, anyway, I'm going to end this here. Take Jasper for a walk and hit the sack. I'm tired already and I haven't done the thing. It's just the way it goes, y'all. But um, with that, I'll say bye for now. And hopefully the Lord will lead me to some scriptures. I can bring you something from the word later. Okay. God bless each and every one of you. Plead the blood of Jesus over yourselves, your home, your family. Anoint your places. Plead the blood over your property, everything you own. And ask Father to keep a hedge of protection around your property. I do it for you, but I want you to do it too. I want you to ask him to keep a hedge of protection made up of warrior angels around your property, and an extra hedge of protection made up of the wall of Holy Spirit fire all around the perimeter outside the angels 
and I asked him to make it as high as we need it and close and close it above and below to encapsulate you and myself from all harm and evil that all hexes, vexes, voodoo and the like will bounce off of that wall of protection and return to the sender. And what you say about it from there is up to you. But I ask Father to make it hit them tenfold so they will know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm not the one who sent, sent the curse. They are. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. Talk to you later.